Hey everybody, it's Big E's. Welcome to Big E's YouTube channel. Today we're doing different. We'll be working on a trailer today. Um, we have a 99 Hallmark I have, 24 foot enclosed. We're going to be putting LED tail lights in. Um, it still has the incandescent bulbs because my trailer is black. I always, here lately I have this fear I'm going to get rear ended or something bad's going to happen. So, more LED tail lights that should fit up. I just want to go over some of the steps. I'm not sure if the wiring colors are going to line up. So we might have to find which wires do what. So I figured I'd just kind of give you guys an overview. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to get you guys a little closer here so you can see what's going on. A little bit of an angle here. So on these, the bottom, there's a seam here and here. So don't forget about your wire. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove the decking. And you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver about that size to take the, the screws out so then all you're going to do is slide this down and bring you over here at least see one of them okay so i'm gonna have to work on my camera abilities here but you can see here here's the tail light uh, assembly the stock one so it looks like the colors will match up so all we'd have to do is I don't like the fact that they used these I really don't so what I'm gonna do we're gonna solder them I'm gonna fire up the generator and we're gonna go with that so without any further ado, now that we know that, white is obviously ground, and I'm going to need, you're going to need a Torx. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and um, cut this wiring, I'm going to set up the generator, the soldering iron, get the solder, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the door back up, and... Uh, take these tail lights out and bolt the new ones in so for now I'm gonna put this decking on I'll put one or two of these screws back in to hold it in place I'm gonna close the door and then we're gonna see about getting these out okay so I'll see you in a couple minutes all right guys due to the fact that I have a limited amount of time on my camera I'm gonna do this in segments so as you can see we have the door up now we have the tail light so what we're gonna do there's one two three four five there's six screws that mounted the uh the tail light to the, to the trailer so we're going to go ahead and uh if i had probably some cordless tools but i don't we're going to take these out so again using the same size same size bit. Uh, geez, I'll learn this camera thing. See, the same size bit. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna remove both tail lights, and then uh, we're gonna put them in, and then we'll do the wiring. All right. So I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, guys. Biggie, I'm back. So we got the old tail lights out. Okay, and then uh, we cut the wires. And now we have them just the wires twisted together. So someone to show you, there's two black wires coming out of the back here. Okay, this is your power. Okay, this is your 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 um your uh, stop. Okay, your stop. This is your turn. This is reverse. And then this is your ground, which is really weird because you would think black would be ground, like universal, but for here it's for power. Your white is your ground. So you put it, see it has the factory set up there from Hallmark. So I just spliced into there. Now, you have to watch. I'm hoping you guys can see this. This wire here, which comes from your reverse light, is also black. But there's also a black coming off your power for your stoplight. So something to keep in mind when you wire this up about which wire is what. When you cut your wires from your original taillights, pay attention 
to what the wire is hooked up to and try and remember. If not, get a piece of paper, scratch it down, okay? Um, so, like I said, the one black wire goes to the white, which is for your reverse, and the other one is for your stop. So what we're gonna do here, if my tripod cooperates, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna solder these up uh, for to, to finish off the wiring. So what you wanna do when you solder, a lot of people think, oh, you heat up the solder, no. What you want to do is actually heat up the wire. And then you want to add, you want to get that wire hot. I like to dab a little bit on the iron. And then you probably can't see it with the camera. But I'm touching the wire at this point. I'm not touching the iron. The wire is that hot. Now you see the, the insulation is going to melt because from the heat, and that's okay, because there's no power going to it, so it's fine. So what you want to do here, I'll, maybe you can see better here, I have, the, I have the iron on the wire, let that heat up, and I'll put a little dab on the, on the iron, and I'll hold it, now I'll start dabbing it on the wire. And it melts, and you, would, you want that hot, it's gonna get a nice shiny silver. That's what you want because you want the heat transfer through the wire so that way the flux and the solder get all in those strands and hold it together to give you a really good connection. We'll go ahead and we'll finish off the rest. Careful not to burn the insulation on any other wires. This one's going to be a little trickier. Careful not to burn yourself either. Okay, so all that's soldered up. So we can unplug the soldering iron. We're going to let that cool off. And then we're going to go ahead... I'm terrible at shrink tubing, so I use electrical tape. So what I'm going to do is let that cool off, get some electrical tape. I'm going to tape up those joints. And then when I come, once I have it all taped, we're going to mount them. We're going to test them out, okay? So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, Big EM bag. So we went ahead, we saw it, like you said, I left you, we saw it just so I taped them all up. I took also, I took some zip ties and tied this up to kind of neaten this up a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead, tuck, now remember that panel is still loose inside the trailer, which is kind of nice because it makes tucking the wires in that much easier. So we're going to go ahead, let me just adjust this here. So line it up and you can put your uh, screws in here. Now don't tighten them all the way, remember, because you're gonna have to um, move around a little bit so it lines up. So we'll go ahead and we'll get these started here. I must say, I wanted to do this conversion or these tail lights for some years now. But I don't know if any of you are like me. Anytime you say trailer wiring, it's kind of scary. It, wiring in general is scary, but let alone trailer wiring is, you know, everybody says, oh, it's worse. The biggest thing with trailer wiring is the ground. If you have a good ground, that seemed to be the biggest problem with trailers. But if you have a good ground, you're all right. And I'll tell you what I wasn't expecting. And which was a very nice surprise was that the wire colors lined up basically matched up so that really took a lot of time off the installation process had we had to go ahead and and trace wires with a test light and do all that so we'll go ahead and we'll tighten these up Like I said, the, the wiring of these up scare me a little bit, but I finally broke down and bought these because I figured what scares me even more is somebody not seeing when there's sunlight or at night 
with the incandescent bulbs and then hit rear ending me and damaging the the the, the trailer and, and car so I'm we're gonna go ahead and test this out but I'm trying to get you guys to see so you can see both lights so I guess we accidentally did it right. So as you can see, our reverse lights are working. Now I'm using the four ways, but that's the same circuit as you use for your turn zone. And the brake lights work the same way. So we had success, which is a good thing. So uh, now the next thing is gonna be just bring that panel on, which that's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go over that in this video, but as you can see, we got, we got our lights. We got better visibility, which is where I'm going after, especially with trailering at night. So, if anybody has a trailer, you want to upgrade to uh, LED lights, it's actually simpler than I thought. So, uh, hopefully this helps or gives you some ideas or or uh, if you're stuck with some wiring or have some, you know, questions about LED lighting for an incandescent, you know, circuit. It does work. That's all I did. Was I, I got the... I don't even have the address, but someplace in Vegas. I actually got them off of eBay, but the supplier was from Vegas. So, And who knows better about how to make lights than Tinseltown itself. So I'm pretty happy with these lights. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully it helped you learn something. And uh, let me know in the comments or anything like that. So please like and subscribe. I have other videos up. I'm going to be probably doing one or two more this week, getting ready. Remember, we have Island Dragway coming up on Sunday, so we have that going on. So this is all in preparation for going to that. So anyway, like and subscribe. Watch out for each other. Take care of each other. We'll see you all next time on Big E's.